Hey, this is Andrew with GY6 Vids. Got a cool video for you guys today. Been getting a lot of requests from it. You've been seeing these shells all over the internet. These are the Oath Ammo 12 gauge shotgun slugs. Now, Oath calls them the TSR, Tango Shotgun Round. Now, the Tango Shotgun Round is a solid 100% copper projectile, which is what you see right here. It is fantastic. It's too cool, very nice machining on it, 100% copper, and lightweight. Now, I'm very interested to see what this does in ballistics gel. They're claiming it gets anywhere from 7 to 9 inches of penetration, and then the center post or backside of it keeps going kind of like the weight of a 22 and penetrates a little bit more. We're supposed to be getting a massive amount of expansion on these shells, so I'm hoping we're going to see that in ballistics gel. We're going to put it through a pork shoulder, test it through it, see what the heck happens, blast some things out of the way. These are coming in at 1,200 feet per second at 602 grains. Holy hell. <laughs> <laughs> they have three different types of shells they sell. They all shoot the exact same projectile, same weight, same speed, but they have different shells. So this one is the brass shell. This is their newest one they're offering. This one is reloadable. So once you shoot it, you can save the shell and then buy some more ammunition from Oath, reload it yourself and be good to go. And at $50 for five, you know, you're gonna wanna reload because you're looking at $10 per shell. So I hope these things kick ass. That's all I gotta say. And then we move on to the next one. This one's their plastic one. This is the original one they made. This plastic clear nylon version of the shell is supposedly the most weather resistant. Obviously, it's going to be best for non-corrosion and stuff like that. But it's going to have the same projectile and same everything else. But this is the original one, and it costs about $35, $37 for five shells. And then they also have their full aluminum version. This one is not reloadable. Um, but it's not going to have any warping or deformation, so it's going to be very easy to insert into a chamber. And also for your mag-fed shotguns, this one's going to work like a dream from what they say. So this is their aluminum version. This one's coming in about $47, $48 for five shells. So very, very expensive shells. These should be doing some fantastic damage to their targets. I'm hoping to see some severe collateral damage downrange on the ballistic shell and the pork shoulder. Oath is claiming these to be the most accurate, hardest impacting shotgun slugs in the world. That's a huge statement, so I'm here to test that theory. They're even saying at 100 yards, these projectiles are gonna hold a nice flight pattern with very little drop due to the fact the projectile's light and they have an aerodynamic cone in the front of it. So I'm very interested to see if that's true. Let's side in our shotgun, let's get going, do some accuracy, then jump into ballistic shell testing. Yeah, we got a break in the video for a second. Um, big issues happening already right out of the gate. Uh, I always side in the firearm I'm about to shoot so it's matching with the ammunition we're shooting because you know certain rounds change as you shoot it. Different gun, different ammo, things change. So I always side in before we move into the video. I'm a little pissed off right now so I'm trying to, trying to stay positive. Um, we have the Viper PST optic on here. It's a one to four power optic. I figured it'd be perfect for the situation because you're not gonna be shooting at extreme distances, but you do wanna have some decent accuracy if you're you know, hunting hogs or even big game, they claim this shell to be good for. So if you're shooting big game, you wanna side in with more than just a red dot. We turned on the main camera to show while I was shooting, we even turned on the high speed camera to show while I was shooting the issues we were having with the shells right out of the gate. We're getting solid primer strikes, we checked that. We even put some bird shot and regular Winchester slug rounds to the shotgun. Everything's firing fine. It's not the shotgun's problem. Perfect primer strike, but all we're getting is a party popper effect. What the f You gotta be kidding me. Another shell in, brand new out of a whole different batch, second batch of shells. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, uh, boy. See what this looks like. What the f is going on? I'm not having light primer strikes. There's solid primer strikes on these things. Okay, so regular seven and a half shot, 12 gauge, bird shot. Load them up, no problem. 
ejects. This is a one ounce slug round, the Winchester slug rounds that are rifle that you can buy at Walmart. I am so upset right now. <laughs> $10 a shell, I am I have a little leeway to be a little pissed off, and I want you guys to know it too. Not gonna pull any punches. I like these shells a lot. I've been so excited to shoot these things. So I apologize to Oath Ammunition ahead of time. I'm sorry, I can't stand having a negative review, but I gotta call it like I see it. $10 a shell should not be happening, and we were missing target left and right. We did have three impacts though. The one shell that did all right was the aluminum. The aluminum shot, and it felt like it was actually doing its job. And that's a different case, obviously. It's not just their one lot that came out of the shop because we tested it from another package from Oath Ammunition of the plastic and they still had a party popper effect. But the aluminum did well, it's the one that kicked the most. It had the best printing on the paper. Right, so this is the actual projectile and it flew and impacted like this. So as you can see, it's coming through at an angle like that. This one impacted completely sideways and then this one went through perfectly with the aluminum shell. So still gonna do ballistics test. I have a plan for um, pork shoulder with bone in it because I wanted to see this thing rip it up. I wanna see it do what it's supposed to do. Kick some serious ass, but I want them to work. I want them to work so bad because they've been getting a lot of cool press from people on social media and seeing the expansion. Don't know what else to say. Uh, dud rounds coming out of shells that are $10 a piece. Not a good start. Uh, all right, ballistic shell. Okay, so just bare ballistic shell. Let's see if these shells actually fire. Like I said, the only issue is dead rounds. Um, I'm guessing our best bet's gonna be with the aluminum case, but let's see what happens. If it is a little dead round, <laughs> it should look comical. Uh, into the chamber it goes. Ready to rock. Oh, man. All right, so that one's up and looks to be going that seven to nine inch mark impacted on that one. We did not have a dud round. Pretty nasty wound channel. Let's cue the high speed and see if we can capture it. Okay, so I'm happy the first shell actually went and expanded into the gel. It looked good, had decent expansion. I did notice, I, did, I wanted to pull it out and look at it. I did notice that one of the pedals damn near just fell off once I took it out. Um, there's very thin amount of copper holding these pedals onto the center post. So it will be interesting to see what happens when it goes through bone, if it'll rip these pedals off at all or cause any issues with expansion. So fun fact, they did expand well, looks cool, massive expansion, but the pedal just fell right off with no resistance yet, put that down there, no resistance yet in the gel, just bare gel. So next we're gonna try the brass. These are the newest ones they have. These are the reloadable ones. We're gonna go dead center putting it right in the action. <sighs> $10 a shell, when you put that in the chamber, you're like, please God work. <laughs> All right, let's see what it looks like. Wait for it. It's kind of a cool sound. Permanent wound cavity looks amazing. I mean, it's a giant open wound cavity. And like the round's designed for, it's not gonna over penetrate. But with these pedals hanging on by just a little bit of copper, I wanna see what happens when it goes through bone. So let's bring out another ballistics gel block and shoot with a pork shoulder <laughs> in front of it. Why the hell not? We didn't get dressed up for nothing, right? <laughs> All right, let's set it up. Got the bone right dead center goes all the way through, it's a flat piece of bone, it is a pork shoulder, so this should look pretty interesting. And it's gooey meat, it is warmed up. I mean, it's a 12 gauge slug round for God's sake, so we wanna see some sort of penetration after going through some meat, especially seeing how they're considering it good for big game hunting. It better have some decent penetration on the back side of this. I mean, you don't want it to shoot your big game whatever, and it doesn't get enough penetration to hit vitals, and the animal runs away and bleeds out, and you can never find it. Oh man, I'm pumped. Here we go. You can instantly tell, that's still pretty cool. You can instantly tell that 
I can see it entered. I can see it hit where I wanted it to hit. And I felt way less recoil on that shell than I did the other two. So consistency is killing me on these shells. At $10 a pop, and if you're using for hunting, you don't get a second chance, and especially if you're using it for personal defense. You do not get a second chance. Stop, intruder. <laughs> oh, shit. let me load another shell. That's not gonna work, okay? So this needs to have consistency. All right, big freaking hole and exits and enters about an inch and a half to two inches in the gel. And it's a big exit wound as well. And it looks like the projectile itself has a little bit of warping on the pedals. Doesn't look like it lost any pedals. Let me prove a point real fast. They claim them to be the hardest impacting slug in the world. Nah, I mean, probably one of the coolest slugs, absolutely. Hardest impacting, eh, I'll have to say probably not so much. Put this slug around, this is two and three quarter inch, 1600 feet per second, one ounce slug round at a dollar per shell. Put up another brand new pork shoulder, shoot it in high speed, and you guys be the judge. One dollar, one ounce slug round. Winchester, bought at Walmart. I rest my case. Does anyone have a wet wipe? <laughs> Those little KFC wet wipes? <laughs> Do I think the Oath Ammo Tango Slug Ground is a bad shell? No, not at all. I think there's a lot of potential behind it. I think they need to do a little bit more R&D and get some consistency in their shells because major issues. I mean, that's my biggest concern. The fact that it's that awesome when it expands though, that's beautiful, I love it. Uh, it just needs more power behind it, more consistency. I would want some more speed behind this. I think 1600 feet per second would be great. So I cannot stand by, I can't say I would recommend it, but it is definitely cool. I think it's a great idea. I think there's a lot of potential. This is the slug that came out that did all that devastation. So this little guy right here. Granted, this may be more accurate, but I can't test that unless there's consistency. So I hope you appreciate the fact I'm being honest. I'm not gonna say it's an inaccurate round because I can't test it without consistency. But because you're watching and you know, this is not the best result for it, but I'm gonna be giving this shot glass away on Instagram. Head over to instagram.com forward slash GY6vids. I do a lot of posting on there. I do wanna shout out a sponsor, luckyshotusa.com. They make 30 mil, this is an actually used 30, sorry, there's something in there I'll show you in a second. Actual used 30 millimeter shell that was fired out of the A10 Warthog. Yeah, the A10 Warthog, that badass plane, they call it the tank killer. And it has a Spartan shield on the backside. Too cool. They also make the hearing protection I'm wearing a lot in my videos recently. Um, they are nine millimeter shells that have hearing pro in the base of them. So I'm not just stuffing brass in my ears. Go check them out, luckyshotusa.com. You can use discount code GY6viz to get 15% off anything you order. It's time sensitive because once it's gone, it's gone. So if you see this a year from now, I'm sorry, it's probably not gonna be up there, but shot glass I'm gonna give away. I'm also gonna give away one of the Tango slug rounds, the projectile itself, that'll be in there, and one of the brass shells. So you'll have the kind of collector set. I wanna say thank you to all my other sponsors, vortexoptics.com, also stanwinarmory.com, some of the best bulk ammunition you can buy. Fantastic, go check them out, Stan Win Armory. All these are links in the description, as well as gripkey.com. Gripkey makes the first ever customized Kydex key holder. It like turns all your keys in your pocket into a pocket knife and makes the jangle go away. As well as tatargets.com, one of our newest sponsors. They make amazing steel targets. GY6vids gives you 15% off them as well. So if you need steel, go check them out. Links in the description. All of them are in the description. <laughs> sponsors make our videos happen. It takes a lot of money, a lot of time. Without them, we can't do it. If you're on mobile, you can click right here to subscribe to GY6vids on YouTube, or you can click on the playlist right now and go watch another video. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time.